Seasonal Changes, Unit 6.2 Here are a few questions in relation to the picture that's already provided in the workbook, so please refer the questions as well as the answers. As humans, if you have noticed, we wear different clothes during summers and during winters. And also we heat our homes if the winter is very cold. That means we adapt to the changing weather. Autumn is the season when the leaves change from green to yellow and then to red. Plants contain a green pigment in them known as chlorophyll that gives the green color for the leaves. The chlorophyll in the leaves help to produce food for the tree. During autumn, days become shorter and there is less sunlight. The leaves are no longer able to produce food for the tree. The chlorophyll present in the leaves begins to break down leaving the leaves yellow and then turns to red, finally brown. After a few weeks, the leaves fall off the tree. During the cold winter months, the tree has no leaves at all. It is dormant or sleeping. In spring, when the days become to warm up, we see new leaf buds on the branches. By summer, the trees are covered in green leaves again. There's a photograph of trees present in Srinagar that's in Kashmir shown at the start of this unit. Now you need to look at the photograph and answer these questions. How does the photograph show that the season is autumn? The leaves are orange and red. That's how we know it's autumn. What will happen to the leaves during the next season? They will fall from the trees. Copy and complete these sentences to explain why the trees change. During autumn, days become shorter. Leaves are no longer able to produce food because there is not enough sunlight. The leaves start to change color and then fall off. Why do you think people in the USA call autumn fall? Because autumn is the season when the leaves fall off the trees. Give examples of trees that change color in your country. You may need to do some research to find the answers and it's your own response. How animals are adapted to seasons? Some animals cannot find food to eat during winters. These animals have two choices, to stay alive. Choice one is to stay where they are and hibernate or migrate to a warmer region. What does hibernation mean? Hibernation describes how the animal's body goes into a deep sleep for a very long period of time. When an animal hibernates, its heart rate and breathing slow down and its temperature goes down. At the end of autumn, the days are getting shorter and colder. Animals like bears eat a lot of food to give them an extra layer of fat to help them survive the long cold winter. They find an underground home for the winter and to go to sleep. When spring arrives, the animal wakes up. When seasons change and there is no longer enough food to eat, some animals migrate to warmer regions from the colder region where there is food. Animals that eat grass need a supply of grass all year round. But in many parts of the world, the grass dries up in the hot, dry summer. 
the animals have to walk long distances to a region where there is new grass to eat and this is called migration the animals which cannot travel a long distance they hibernate and the animals that can travel a long distance for example birds they migrate many different types of birds migrate in late summer as the days get shorter many birds begin their migration they eat more food so that they'll have enough strength to survive the long journey then huge number of them fly long distances to a place where there is food for them for example siberian cranes migrate from russia and northern europe to india they leave at the end of summer and fly south to india where it is warm and they can find food here's activity 2 and two questions are given you need to answer all of the questions for your reference answers are already given